Hey, this is a quick response for uh, how to create these little zip lines. Um, if you've worked with Illustrator enough, you'll eventually see that you can add brushes to uh, to the strokes of lines you draw. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all they did there. I don't know exactly which one they used or if they created a custom one, but I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Uh, open up Illustrator. Here's a screenshot. Uh, I grabbed from that video you made, uh, make a new layer, grab the pen tool, I'm just going to draw out a little line here and here, there we go, a nice little curvy shape, and pull out a little bit, there we go, that looks beautiful, um, I'm using the same color red as what's right there. Um, with this selected, go up to uh, Window and Brushes, and you'll get all your brushes, and you can pick random stuff in here. You kind of see what you can pick. Um, if we go to Window, Brush Libraries, and Artistic, and Chalk, Charcoal, and Pencil, that guy. Uh, I think the fourth one here, Chalk Scribble, that one does a pretty close job of recreating this. Um, you can also, with it selected, go to your options here and change options for selected object. And you can do stuff like bump this up some to like here or so. That looks good. A little bit bigger stroke. Uh, you can also flip this here, uh, flip across so that the stuff that's on bottom is on top gives you a little bit more of a point up here than you had before. Uh, you can flip along, which is kind of stupid because it puts the thick end over here, which will be off screen, and the thin end over there, which is the opposite of these big thick strokes, so don't flip along. Uh, and that's pretty much it there. Unless you have strong corners, then you can adjust this stuff, but you won't because you're just doing smooth curves here. So there's line one. We'll uh, draw another one next to it and pull it up like that. Cool. And we'll grab that, this, change the color of it, and then give it some chalk scribble too. There we go. And that's pretty much it. You just draw out the rest of them, and you can even, once you've drawn out enough of them, just copy these guys. We'll hold down shift to drag them down, hold down alt to make a copy. There it is. Go up to object, transform, reflect, horizontal. Does all that work for you. Uh, if you use the rotate tool here, you can hold down alt and click here. And that'll place the center of the rotation there. Hit OK. And you can rotate this around like that or something and then switch back so that they're all from the same spot and then just change the colors so we'll grab this guy and pull it from there switch it and then grab that guy and pull the color from here or something and there's also this light yellow shown and there's a light blue and you just draw in those extra strokes with the pen tool uh, there you go that's the idea. I'll, I'll draw in the light blue one real quick. Also, I'll have one shot going straight up the center here. There we go. It's not so bad. Bump that back a little bit and make it a little bit more curvy. There we go. That's, that's pretty good, I guess. So we'll grab that and click on uh, this light blue tone, there we go, swap it around, give it the chalk scribble. If you want to, you can go back to your brush options here, and options for selected brush, and bump it up to, I mean really you can select all of them and do it at the same time. Select all of those guys, and you can have as many of these things as you want, as many of these lines with different colors. Uh, I'd say probably, let's see, Purple, blue, orange, green, yellow. Um, looks like that orange may be just a really big stroke in the back. And then red, so that's like six six different strokes you'd make. 
and the orange one would be in the very back with the biggest tone, biggest width, everything else would be stacked on top of, and then, right, options, set them all to 137, and set them all to flip across, hit OK, there we go, we got something kind of close to that in a very quick amount of time, um, it's a lot quicker than having to buy the tools and then draw it out yourself by hand and then scan them in and then create an alpha channel and all that crap. You just, just draw in the pen tool. What's nice about this is if we go to outlines, this is all it is. It's just this. So you can go back in here and select these and edit the way the, the curve looks at any point in the future and adjust this so it makes animating these lines frame by frame really easy you just tweak them a little bit and make them more curved each time around so that's super freaking simple um, it used to be that uh, before you took this out of Illustrator and put it into a uh, flash you'd have to duplicate this layer rename the first one to editable and then rename the second one to expanded and you'd click on the expanded one, and go up to object, expand appearance there. You have all these crazy lines going through here like this. And you couldn't edit them anymore the way you could before. You could just click and turn the stroke and stuff. Because um, they've all been expanded. But you'd still have them individually wrapped so you can change their color. But that's about it. And then you would save this as a .ai file. Go back into Flash, import AI file, and then fiddle with it. You don't have to do that crap anymore. They they fix all that. You just here it is, here are the originals. They're still easily editable. Uh select them, control C, go over to Flash, and then Control V, pop up and ask how you want to paste everything in. Paste using Adobe Illustrator file importer preferences, apply recommended imported settings to resolve incompatibility, sure, maintain layers, whatever, okay. And then it will import it in for you. Uh, if we look here in the outlines, you'll see it already expanded it for you during the process, and everything's still grouped. So if I click on just this purple guy or just the red, you can change the colors. Um, you can create each one of these to be its own symbol, or you can put them all in a symbol and then put each one on a different layer and then duplicate that symbol and change the colors for each character. And So you have a folder in the library called zip lines, and each one will be called the individual character's names. Uh, so you can just drag out that zip line whenever you want to use it from the library. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you, you have to go through and perfect the brush stroke here that's used, um, which you can go up to Window and Brush Strokes, Brush Libraries there, and just pick these different things. And each one will bring up a different, a different menu. So if we do Paintbrush, its own little thing will pop up. You can try each one. When we click on one of these guys, though, we select all of them. When we click on one like this guy, they all change. It also adds that into your main brushes. So if you go through and click on all of them, you'll end up having like 700 brushes in here. So you can select one, hold down shift, select the other, and then to delete brush. There it is. It says, hey, you're using that one currently. You want to remove strokes or expand? I just say remove strokes, whatever. If you have like 50 of them, then just get rid of everything. Same thing with this crap up here. You can see the brush engine in Illustrator is really freaking powerful. And you can go through and create your own custom brushes. So you can pick apart this guy, chalk scribble, and then edit it how you like. But that's, uh, that's the way that they would do it on the actual show because it's so simple and easy. You just draw out the line and then you animate that one line in Illustrator. On a couple different layers and then just copy and paste it in the flash and then you're ready to go you just change the colors for each individual character which is way way quicker than having to scan everything in and and all that junk and you get the then what that vector look that's in the show just with more of a brushy texture to it so that's uh that's the way that the pros do it i guess